move on next here tonight to the Polk County teacher now facing serious allegations that he made comments about blowing up the school during a school lockdown drill. ABC Action News confirming tonight that the teacher is now on administrative leave and is being investigated by the Lakeland Police Department. And tonight, reporter Andrea Lyon uncovering new information about what exactly that teacher is being accused of. Obviously a little uh, concerning. Parents tell ABC Action News sending your kids to school today can be risky. You don't know where and what they're doing during the day at school and what might happen there. But with full trust in Polk County schools, this father was surprised to hear the kinds of comments allegedly made by a Lakeland High School teacher. Maybe he envisioned a scenario that had not been discussed. It's a little bit wrong. Especially, you know, um, right now. We are not naming the teacher because he has not been charged. But according to the risk protection order, the former United States Marine told the class during a lockdown drill, quote, I would be the best school shooter ever and that he would have an intense body count. A classmate also telling investigators the teacher said he would put IEDs within the school to kill them all even describing to students the kind of shrapnel he would add to the bombs. If you have any opinion, just keep it by yourself. The teacher admitted to police he jokingly made the statements. I'd like to think the best. And parents hope that's true, saying maybe he was just preparing students for other situations. Heaven forbid it would be a teacher, but uh, it's not beyond, beyond the realm of possibilities. Investigators, though, are taking this very seriously, telling ABC Action News a risk protection order gives law enforcement the right to seize any weapons. None were found in this case. Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News. And in the next 14 days, we've learned that teacher will have a hearing while courts decide if the teacher will be allowed any weapons for the next year. Polk County Schools tell ABC Action News tonight in a statement they are cooperating with law enforcement as well as investigating that situation themselves. We'll keep you posted. Happening